Hi guys, today we're making ginger scallion steamed fish. This is a Cantonese classic and it's absolutely delicious with beautiful aromas of ginger and scallion and it comes together in like 15 minutes. This recipe is a request I got from Instagram from Ashley Rachel. She wanted to learn how to make this fish for her family for the Lunar New Year. I'm going to be using a whole fish for this video but you can use fish fillet instead. You just need to adjust the cooking time for it and I will share that later in the video. If you're new to eating and cooking a whole fish, I will be sharing some tips on how to eat it. So make sure you watch till the end. We're going to julienne one inch knob of ginger. Slice the ginger into long thin pieces, then lay them flat, line them up and julienne. Next, we're going to slice the green onions. Separate the whites from the green parts and slice. We're going to use the white parts for cooking and the green parts for both cooking and garnish. I'm also going to throw in one red Thai chili for color and heat, but you can skip this if you don't want any heat in it. Now for our seasoning, mix together some sugar and some light soy sauce. If you don't have light soy sauce, you can use regular soy sauce. Just add an extra tablespoon of regular soy sauce or add more salt to the soy sauce mixture. What most people don't know is that light soy sauce is actually saltier than regular soy sauce. The light actually just stands for lighter in color. For the fish today, I'm using rock cod vermilion, but you can use sea bass or sea bream. I find that sea bass and sea bream are meatier in texture. Rock cod is milder in flavor, but the texture is super silky and it just falls off the bone if you cook it right. I wouldn't recommend sea bream if you are eating fish on the bone for the first time. It just has like a little more bones than the other two options. So when you go to the fish market, you're looking for fish with really glassy, clear eyes. That means that the fish is fresh. And also tell your fishmonger to clean the guts and remove the fins as well. In Chinese cuisine, the fish is served with the whole head and tail on, but I had to cut the tail off because it wouldn't fit in my steamer. So pat your fish dry after cleaning, and now we're going to make some incisions to the fish. Hold the knife diagonally towards the head of the fish and slice to make incisions along the direction of the scales. This will help cook the fish faster and also infuse the flavors in. Repeat the same cuts on the other side. Next, put the fish on the plate that you will be steaming in. Stainless steel or ceramic should be okay. We're gonna rub the cavity with a pinch of salt and then splash it with some Shaoxing wine. Now stuff it with 3 fourths of the ginger and 3 fourths of the white parts of the green onions. And by the way, do you guys call them green onions or scallions? I fluctuate between the two and I, I just can't pick. Anyway, after you stuff it, spread out the rest of the ginger on top and splash it with some more Shaoxing wine. Then pour over the soy sauce and top it off with the remaining white parts of the green onions. I'm also going to add a bit of the green parts as well and finally add in the red chilies on top. Our fish is now ready for steaming. You're going to need a steaming rack. I got this one from the Chinese grocery store. If you don't have one, you could use a cookie cutter. So fill your wok with at least one inch of water and bring it to a boil. I forgot to mention about these steamer tongs, which is very useful for lowering the plate into the steaming rack. Now close the lid and let the fish steam for 10 minutes over medium heat. The cook times will vary depending on the size of your fish. So make sure you check for doneness after 10 minutes. If you're using a fillet, you only need to steam it for four to five minutes and you should be done. Our fish is now ready. It's best to serve this immediately. I like to garnish with the rest of the green onions and spoon some of that delicious sauce over the fish. To eat a whole fish is really easy. Just start picking at the fleshiest part of the fish. 
and depending on the type of fish, it might just slide off in big chunks. You can eat along the middle of the fish where it is the fleshiest and there aren't too many small bones that come off. Once you've finished eating and reached the bone, wiggle the head to detach it from the spine. Pick up the spine from the top and everything should fall right off. But sometimes you need a little help. So just slide a spoon under to help loosen the flesh and that's it. Easy peasy. I hope you guys have found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Also, if you have any requests, please comment below or send me a DM on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.